The BMW 5 Series has always been one of the most complete saloons you can buy, offering pace, practicality, excellent driving dynamics and a premium badge. This is the new 5 Series. It's one of the most hotly anticipated cars of 2017. And when it arrives, it will freshen up rivalry with the Audi A6, Mercedes-Benz E-Class and the Jaguar XF. This new 5 Series is lighter than the model it replaces, which helps with fuel efficiency and handling as well. But what's it like? We've come to Lisbon to find out. The new 5 Series will be available with four different turbocharged engines. There's two petrols, a 2.0-litre and a 3.0-litre, and their badge, the 530i and the 540i, which is the car we're in right now. And for the diesels, there's a 2.0-litre and a 3.0-litre diesel option as well. That's the 520d and the 530d. We've driven the 530d and it's really brilliant. It's, it's more expensive than the 520d, but it's very refined. All the engines across the range, because the car's a bit lighter, are really, really efficient. Um, and even when you put all-wheel drive on it, there's only a small compromise in the fuel economy figures. In the 540i now, the performance is a bit more ballistic and uh, slightly more responsive than in the diesel. But as you can hear, it's still very, very hushed and very quiet. And then when you get out into these long stretches of beautiful country roads, the steering is excellent. The cars that offer X-Drive give you amazing grip. And there's also an optional extra that you can add that steers the rear wheels as well, just to make it feel that much more agile through the corners. The ride is absolutely fantastic. Really, it just brings some limo luxury to the executive saloon class, and it's so much like a 7 Series. But it just feels lighter and more nimble, and it's just fun to drive. It's very engaging on faster roads. But then, when you want to cruise and just munch away the miles, then it's just amazingly capable at that as well. It's a very versatile car, and you can see why it's so popular. And I'm sure this one will be as well. The interior is a big step forward. It's basically just been lifted from the 7 Series. So you have a 10.2-inch touchscreen and all the same dials, but the only difference is it's angled slightly more towards the driver, and BMW says that's to give it a more driver-focused feel for the 5 Series. With prices starting from £36,000, it looks as though the 5 Series will be more expensive than the A6 and the E-Class. That is until cheaper variants go on sale after its launch. But thanks to its brilliant handling and 7 Series-like interior, it looks set to remain one of the very best cars you can buy in the class. For the full review, go to whatcar.com. And for more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel.